Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. It's morning here. And that means one thing. Breakfast. What is going on here? Breakfast. So. I fancied a bacon sandwich. But. I don't really like eating pork. Thankfully, Sainsbury saved me. Because plant pioneers do a vegan version called vacan rashers. I see what it did there. So, and I got lucky. They're normally, I mean, they're pretty cheap. Two pounds for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rashers. But I love a bargain. They were in the reduced section. 129. So now I know that bacon have have been the destroyer of some of my vegan and vegetarian friends, you know, on a hangover day. The smell of bacon cooking is like very unique. And uh, I know vegans have lost their veganity because of bacon. So I'm going to test this, I'm going to cook the whole pack, I'm going to see how I get on with it, um, and if it tastes anywhere remotely near as good as bacon, then I'm giving up bacon, because I don't like eating pork anyway, to be honest. So, um, here's the nutritional blurb on the back. Made with coconut milk and weird stuff. So you can pause that and read that because some people have said that you don't do the nutritional value. You just do the prices and the tasting. So, you know, trying to be as informative as possible. On that note, I bought them in Sainsbury's. So there you go, Sainsbury's. So yeah, Plant Pioneers. I've had, I've had them burgers before, I think, Plant Pioneers. Uh, it's definitely a, um, a thing that I recognise, and they they were delicious. I do I do know um, because I, I've had uh, vegan friends say to me this stuff cooks really quick. It's really easy to burn, and the cooking instructions say two minutes. So, got my pan on the go. I've already got my bread buttered. I like a bit of mustard and tomato. So, here's some I prepared earlier. So which is, uh, I, I remembered, that's an old Blue Peter reference. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> that's, uh, these things, they jump into my brain. I'm like, where the hell did that quote come from? But yeah, anyone around my age, and I'm not telling you my age, you can look it up, um, will remember like Blue Peter when they were making stuff like, here's one I prepared earlier. So I've done my bread. I've spread my marmite. I've saved the tomato sauce for visual effect because everyone loves a good squirt of tomato sauce. You know, that could be like the dramatic effect like uh, whilst, you know, making this sandwich. So I'm going to get on, get this in the pan and do a taste test and it will be genuine and it will be honest. Don't let me down, plant pioneers with your weird coconut bacon. What's that about? But, let's try it. All right, let's get into these bad boys. So, oh, there you can, look, it's a sock cam. Do you like my socks? Whee! I've gone for spotty socks today. You don't often find me wearing a pair of socks. So, you know, I, I, I tend to theme socks rather than wear pairs because I'm weird like that. So, and I'm also stubborn, it's winter here, but I'm still wearing jorts because like, you know, maybe I was a postman in a past life or something. But um, I definitely was a Viking and I've definitely been Scottish. because I, you know, I have that ancestry. So they all wore kil kilts anyway, so. I don't wear long trousers until I really, really have to, or unless I'm throwing Viking axes. So, oh, look at this. 
the packaging actually works. Normally I struggle and have to get a knife. So this is this is they. This is the Plant Pioneers Vegan Smoky Bacon. Smells good actually. So I've got a bit of butter in the pan today. And I'll see what are these gonna be like. Are they gonna be? Yeah, look, let's get these in. I haven't got the heat on massively high because I was when it's other oh, butter's only just melted because I didn't want to burn them. I hope I can fit all these in the pan. Oh. They feel weird, but obviously it's vacan or vacan, you know. All the other vegan products I've tasted you know, have been equal or su superior to, um, you know, the, 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 the meat. So yeah, controversial to carnivores, I know. So I am still a hypocritical carnivore, but I am, you know, trying to cut down on my meat. So if I find a meat replacement, I'm happy to eat it. So, and I'm happy to give you honest opinions of, of vegan meat replacements. Because why not? You know, right, this is go big or go home. I'm going to eat the whole packet because some of these might be mildly flavoured. There you go. Sizzling away. Look at that. Right. Like a responsible citizen, I'll whack this in the recycling. I'll leave that there so you can see what it is. Sizzle, sizzle. In the pan. Two minutes, apparently. I haven't got my little pink timer. But I just literally just want to cook through without actually burning it. Because this, look, this looks like it could be overdone, like real, real quick. Oh, it's all right. I'm just panicking. I don't want to burn this fake bacon. Bacon, smoky bacon. So. But, I mean, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Sizzling away, you know? So, it kind of it kind of reminds me of, um, like, giant frazzles. I love frazzles, you know? There are bacon flavor maize crisps if you don't have frazzles in the USA. You might have, I don't know. We have different, oh, look at that, that's cooking, that's cooking lovely. And they're right, it does cook quick. Right, so let's get these flipped over. I want them crunchy. I like my bacon well done. See, look at these skills, man. Like, yeah, I haven't even made an omelette yet. I'm like the omelette king. Like, the king of flipping omelettes. As long as he, there's not too many ingredients in them anyway. So actually, if you go to my Instagram, at Julian Seagar, I do have uh, an omelette vi flipping video when I was filming um, Vikings. So I was in my apartment doing some cooking. And if you look at my Instagram, you can see I've been a foodie for life because um, my Instagram isn't all about like, the, you know, that my other job, the acting job. I'm gonna take this one out. I don't wanna burn that. That one can go straight on. It's, uh, it also shows that I'm, I'm, I have been a foodie, you know, for my entire life. Because most of my Instagram is got, there's got nothing to do with acting. It's, it's, it's mainly pictures of food and my cats. I love cats. I love animals. So look, see this is this is cooking real quick. All right, let's get these last ones done that were round the side. Nothing like the smell of bacon in the morning. Good morning, fake bacon. Oh, cooking away there. Cooking away. I'm loading this sandwich because if it, if it does have a mild flavour, I don't want the the bread to overpower the you know the flavour of this bacon. That bit's done, look at that. They both are actually. Right, let's get them in. 
get in my sandwich. That uh, looks like it's done. Oh, look at that. So yeah, it, it burns real quick. Look, you know, you need to you need to really keep an eye on this stuff. You you walk away from bacon cooking in a pan. You're gonna you're gonna ruin that bacon. So let's just crisp off these last two little pieces. Then we can get this pan off, go to the gratuitous ketchup squirting shop, try not to get it all over me. All right, that's done. All right, let's turn this off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do. All right, okay, whoa. This one's nervous. Doesn't want to get in my sandwich. So, there you go. Right, let's put that over there. Remind myself that that's really hot and not put my hands anywhere near it. There you go. Plant Pioneer's bacon. That can go there. Boom. Right. Here comes the gratuitous ketchup shot. No, it's, it's not. We had a technical issue. Oh, should I squirt it on my meat? My fake meat? Yes, here it goes. Oh, see how high I can get it. Oh, one last drop. Can I do it? Boop. Done. Don't know why I did that. You couldn't see the ketchup bottle anyway. It was, it was out of shot, but it was, it was at arm's length above my head. So. That's what it, that's what it looked like. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fake in there. So let's assemble it. Let's see if there's a crunch when I cut through. Right. Shh. What's making those noise? My fridge. Shush, sure, fridge. I want to I see if there's a crunching sound. Whoa. Satisfyingly, there is a crunching sound. <coughs> Excuse me, and a coughing sound. That wasn't the sandwich, that was me. So, look at that. Vegan bacon. Okay. Back to the table for a taste test. Oh, look, I'm rubbing my hands, I'm excited. Right. Here we go. Oh, hey, nice to see you. Do you like vegan bacon? I'm gonna eat it. Right, let's get straight in, shall we? Look, rolling my sleeves up, ready for war. Oh. Actually smells good. Nice crunch, looks good, looks appetizing. Okay, excuse the rattling noise, by the way, it's quite stormy here today and that's uh, the kitchen fan making the knocking noise. We've got, we've got some storms coming. Storms are brewing. So we've got to batten down the hatches and stay in and eat and make videos. So, the, the crunch and the texture is awesome. The sandwich is awesome. But I'm not getting enough bacon flavor. Now, 
You make fly bait all the time. I know for a fact you can get strong bacon flavours in products because you know frazzles and bacon flavoured crisps they're vegetarian or vegan Sorry to say guys, this doesn't taste like bacon. So, plant pioneers, you need to up your game. I'm not, not enjoying it, it's nice, but I use um, bacon crunchies, you know, vegan bacon crunchies on my salad and stuff like that. They, they taste great as a salad topper because they do have that, that yummy bacon flavor. But this, whilst enjoyable, I'd still buy it again. Not, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm totally honest in, in my, especially if I saw it reduced for £1.29, you know? But, what would I do with it? <laughs> I'll probably put frazzles with it to make it taste more bacon. Which is stupid. Or bacon pieces. I haven't got any in the cupboard right now. So yeah. Not enough bacon flavouring. Which is a shame. Because it looks good. The texture is good. It's a damn good sandwich. Just doesn't taste like bacon. As I said, I'd eat this again. It's nice. It might be nice in a BLT, like um, you know, a bit of lettuce, a bit of mayonnaise, because it does have a really good crunch. And as you all know, I love, I love a crunch. I love a Captain Crunch as well. But that's another story. So, yeah. So Park Pioneers overall, their food is pretty good. You know. But they need to they need to work on the bacon flavouring. They're just you know bacon's a really strong, unique flavour. This is not a strong flavour. I put a whole pack in. I put the whole I went the whole eight rashes. You know? So Yep. If I had to score it out of ten, I don't normally do. I just throw it out of ten. I give it a seven because they're they're on their way. I want to support vegan products, but if I think something's lacking, I'll be honest and say something's lacking. You know, I reviewed some uh, Huel vegan meal replacements the other day. It was really nice. The company commented on my video saying I'm a legend. Good job, thank you. I thought that was really really respectful. So I'm gonna hashtag Plant Pioneers. And I hope they watch this video and make their bacon more bacony. Because that's what it needs. So I'm gonna save this other half so that Harry Foodie Girl can taste it as well. Because um she's a pescatarian and is well down with the uh, you know the vegan meat replacement stuff. So she hasn't eaten bacon in years, so be be interested to take see her take on it just for my personal records. So, just trying to clear my mouth up. I hope this has been useful to you in making different food decisions. Buy it, try it. And if you, you know, if you think it's perfect, tell me what you think. But, you know, for, for two pounds, or if you can get it reduced, it's it's worth it's worth it. It's not it's not horrible. It's just not baking enough. 
but if you haven't had bacon for years, then it might it might be great for you. You might just absolutely love it. So anyway, but that's me. I'm, I'm done. If you, can you please drop a like on this video? Uh, subscribe to the channel. So I'm I'm a fairly new YouTuber, but I'm working hard, as you can see by my exhaustive list of videos. Like uh, you know, I'm putting a lot into this. Uh, whilst uh, you know in between filming and I'm having a lot of fun so I used to just do Instagram pictures of food and now I'm videoing food so I didn't think I'd ever do that I just had a crazy idea two weeks ago and then it's gone on to me beating two world records and training for speed eating and uh, bulk eating so yeah um, so yeah shout out to my heroes and my, and my inspiration so shout out to Matt Stoney LA Beast and uh, Beard, Meat, Beard Meets Food. So, you know, watching your videos has led me to, to doing these videos. I, I love, um, um, and you know, any, anyone could do this with the right spirit and training and stuff like that. So the competitive eating is, uh, is something that I'm really looking forward to. So there you go. Oh, I just done a big thing flash up on my phone saying, warning, storm coming. <laughs> yeah, let's bring it on. Who doesn't love a good storm, thunder and lightning? The way I love bacon is frightening. Gotta knock on wood. Bye-bye.